Well, it looks like the recruitment by Darius Slate worked out after all. Because Steven Nelson is now a Philadelphia Eagle. Let's go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good job, Howie Roseman and the Eagles front office in knowing that, you know, <laughs> hour after hour, day after day, seemed like week after week. Um, the Eagles, you know, Eagles fans across the board, when are we going to sign a corner? When are we going to sign a corner? And the corner that has been on most of our radars, um, he's here, everybody. <laughs> what is up? Every What's up? I'm, I can't even talk. I'm, ex I'm so excited. I'm having a hard time talking, but Lindy Enzone in the building for the touchdown, taking the lead for the Eagles one video at a time and dropping buckets for my Dallas Mavericks. If you all are new to the diversity of fandom that I bring to the table, all you got to do to achieve being a part of the end zone fam is hit the subscribe button. We're still on that push to 200 subs, man. Um, you know, just being a part of the journey. Uh, hit that like, help with the algorithm, um, and smash the notification bell so y'all know when I drop my next piece. But, yes, sir, Steven Nelson is, well, seems that he's finally a Philadelphia Eagle. Um, you know, <laughs> just after watching the, you know, continued recruitment of Darius Slay on Twitter and, you know, and, and watching his Twitter feeds and everything and, you know, <laughs> you know people, you know, being up, you know, <laughs> People being down his throat a little bit, you know, like just come to Philly, come to Philly. Um, but, you know, he comes to the Eagles. Uh, he reportedly signs a one-year deal uh, worth a little over $4 million. Um, we knew, we knew uh, back a little bit ago that the Eagles were uh, necessarily not wanting to budge on paying more than three. I guess, you know, negotiations continue to go on and on and on. Uh, we know that Steven was um, – he didn't go back to Pittsburgh. They did not pick him back up. He was expected to make, make $8 million. Um, and then it seems at this point that either uh, Pittsburgh did not match the offer that, you know, the Eagles were willing to make to Steven in terms of how much he was getting paid, or Steven just wanted to come here. Uh, but then again, two things can be true. Um now, it is it is known that Stephen Nelson is one of the – he was one of the highest graded corners left available. Um, he's graded out over the last two seasons as 11th best in the NFL at his position, um, garnering a PFF grade of about 78 to 79. Um, he did spend his first four years in Kansas City. He was a former third-round pick. Uh, he went to the Steelers in 2019. Uh, he started all 30 games, uh, three interceptions, 17 pass deflections, 109 total tackles. Um, his multiple, his multi-interception game, for what it's worth, uh, came against Carson Wentz last year um, when we played the Steelers and evidently lost to them 38-29. to 29. Uh <laughs> I mean, I mean, what else can we really say here, you know, other than the excitement of finally having a partner for Darius Slay after the recruitment and everything? Um, what is this, you know, what could this potentially mean for the rest of the squad? Uh, we're not going to see Avante Maddox on the outside again. Uh, that's a positive. Um, you know, it doesn't really – it doesn't necessarily push Zach McPherson into the fold too early. Um, I don't think we were in a uh, good position in order for that to happen. You know, throw him into the fire, uh, kind of like you know Jalen Hurts was thrown into the fire last year. Uh, even though even though Zach would have had a full uh, training camp to prepare and whatnot, um, but still, I mean, bringing in Steven, uh just helps in that matter. Uh, very experienced corner. Um, I mean, I mean, what what else is there? Um, 
dude comes in at about 5'11", 194. Um, you know, he's, I, I think he's about the same size to Zach McPherson, but, you know, we're looking at the experience. Uh, almost nothing but positives here, especially for the position that the Eagles have been in for the longest time, needing that corner. Uh, not necessarily a lockdown corner uh, opposite Slay, but he's fairly good for what he brings to the table. Uh, he's only 28, so um, it's not like you know, it's not like he's an, another older player. Um, still, still in the prime of his career for the most part. And uh, yeah, man, Stevens also going to amp up the competition in that room. Uh, Nick Sirianni's huge on that. We know this already, and he's just going to he, – he's just adding to it. So uh, <laughs> I'm so excited. I know the rest of you are. Um, share your excitement down in the comments, I guess. Uh, that's going to be – you know, that's going to be pretty much it, man. Um, I would have to – I would have to imagine that maybe there's going to be incentives attached to his contract um, and whatnot. So, you know – We'll see what happens, you know, come training camp uh, where he is. I'm sure we're going to get an introductory press conference. We're going to hear from him, um, you know, and see what led to his decision to signing with Philly. Uh, but you got to love it. You love to see it. So share your excitement, folks, down in the comments on this signing. And Steven Nelson finally coming and making a decision um, to play for the Eagles. Good job, Darius Slay, staying on top of it. And uh, that's going to be it for your guy, Lindy, here. Uh, fly Eagles, fly blue green. MFFL, go Mavs. Take care of yourselves and see you soon.